Dudes who moan when crapping or pissing in a public toilet, why? Had a dude at my gym sit down, crumble up his newspaper, and loudly exclaim alright let's see what we can do and proceeded to make as much noise as humanely possible. It sounds like he was inviting everyone in the washroom to join in on the symphony. Yeah helps everyone sync up and get some kind of rhythm going. That's considerate. At least he wasn't inhumane about it. Dude that's big crap energy and I'm here for it. I heard a dude say, get out of me. While grunting and taking a crap in the bathroom at the bar I go to. Weird. WHO, does, number, two, work, four? That's right buddy, you show that turd who's the boss. Hey, that sounds kind of nasty. How about a courtesy flush? Good lord, what did you eat? What's the point in feeling good if nobody knows? Plop yes daddy. I like to say, oops. Keeps M guessing. Oh, that's where that went. Two to three days my ass, you should have been out weeks ago. So people don't come close to me in public places. I once had a friend whose dad used to just straight up eat garlic. When we asked him, why he was carrying around and eating a clove of garlic he said, because it keeps smelly people away. He became the person he was trying to avoid. Sounds like a dad joke answer more than anything. What about non-smelly people though? Smiley face. Who does number two work for? Hey. Just grab a hold of something, bite your lip, and give it hell. Come on, we're going to get through this I want a bathroom buddy like that. You're saying the ladies had it right all along? Jesus Christ boy. What did you eat? We're going to get through this. Hey, buddy, you got to relax, don't force it. You'll blow an o-ring. How about a courtesy flush? People need to do this more I've literally vomited from co-workers poop air. They just sit and stew in their own stink. Oof. In fairness though, for some reason it's never as bad when it's your own, same with farts. Everyone likes their own brand. The sweet smell of success. Don't get high on your own supply. We're going to get through this together. You show that turd who's boss. What did you eat? God damn it. As everyone else here noticed it was an Austin Powers reference, I am sitting here thinking it is a reference to the prisoner. Damn, I'm old. I am not number, I am a free man. Yeah, that's it, you show that turd who's boss. My friends and I went to the bathroom at Union Station in DC. We all needed a quick pee before our trip and there was a guy in the stall taking a dump who was literally having an exorcism. It was essentially, plop. Uck. Plopped plop. Oh sweet Jesus. Plop. Mother Mary in heaven. We started cracking up right there and then. Could have been the heroin craps. Might have been passing something truly enormous in that case. Or just IBS. Seriously. I have IBS. During flare-ups, I'm known to moan, groan, and curse on the toilet. Bloating, inflammation, spastic colon, and constant pressure. I wouldn't say it's painful, but it's severely and intensely uncomfortable. Yeah, no kidding. I have Crohn's and that would be me, and when the need arises, it doesn't matter if I'm just passing through or if it's the seediest most inconvenient toilet. I need to go at that very moment. I knew a dude years ago who had Crohn's. Whenever the boys were joking about crafting he would always be sitting there silently with that thousand yard stare. I didn't realize until way later that he legitimately had PTSD from his Crohn's craps. Gal with Crohn's here, diagnosed last July. Turns out it took three hospital trips, losing 15 kilograms in two weeks, going every time I ate anything with insane urgency, getting intense nausea whenever I go and vomiting gray goo every time slipping in and out of consciousness all day every day and insane joint pains for the doctors to start realizing something might not be quite right. 
The third time I went to hospital, they finally did a scope, x-ray and blood tests and decided to put me on corticosteroids. I have been essentially symptom-free ever since until recently. Right now, I'm only dealing with looser stools and bloating that makes me look 3 months pregnant 24-7, but it's manageable and they're hoping to get me on a new injectable medication that requires infusions at the hospital. Crohn's is no joke. I often get panic attacks whenever I feel like one of my symptoms might be returning. The worst part is how little is known about the condition and that there's no cure. At best, you're on medications with risky side effects your whole life, and at worst you need most of your digestive system removed and replaced with external bags that attach to holes made in your abdomen to the point where you crap out your stomach and your butthole literally rendered a useless hole, although, on the bright side, I guess if anal is your thing then it's way cleaner and easier lol. Edit. I'd like to mention that I dropped from 59 kilograms to 45 kilograms in July and on 174 centimeters, 5 feet 9 inches. I have since regained all my weight and even got a bit more, I'm 64 kilograms now and I'm healthier than I've ever been in that department. It wasn't easy and took a ton of monitoring calories and fine-tuning my diet to the point where I'd eat the same thing for 4 months straight daily just because it was effective. Turns out, I had hips all along, too. Just not enough meat on them to be noticeable edit too, okay I've had to respond to like 6 comments at this point, some surgeries preserve part of the colon if possible, that's the kind I was talking about. So there's still half a foot to a foot of space up there for some people. Wow, I had no idea what this was. Now I do. Thank you for sharing. Jesus Christ, I'm so sorry you had to go through all this. You see here and same. I don't care where I'm going. I just don't want to crap my pants. I was just diagnosed with UC. What does being in remission feel like for you? I have never experienced remission. I have IBS. I bear that pain in silence. This is likely given Union Station in DC. I had a Maine Coon cat that passed baseball sized poops, and this cat was drug free. Little did you know he was secretly addicted to fentanyl-laced catnip? My Maine Coon died from this. That sucks, maybe it's a Maine Coon thing. I know large dogs like St. Bernard's frequently die from having their intestines tie up in knots. Yeah it actually is a common problem with the breed. They call it megacolon which basically means the inside is larger than the hole so it kind of collects and impacts their making it hard to pass. If you still have your cat, Monitor his diet with some soft foods and make sure he drinks a lot of water. Ripped butthole from hemorrhoids mixed with spicy meal. Can confirm, have prayed and cussed and whimpered in a similar manner to Ops Bathroom Exorcist for precisely this reason before, not in a public bathroom though. Very coincidental, but the last time I used the Union Station bathrooms, pre-COVID I stopped by once a month or so, I heard almost exactly this. I know there are some homeless folk that use Union Station as their primary bathroom since public bathrooms are a rarity in the city. Reminds me of, plop plop fizz fizz oh what a relief it is. If you didn't hear crafting, he was getting blown probably. I once heard a man getting head in a gas station bathroom and he made the same noises. After about 5 minutes, I heard another man say something quietly. I immediately washed up and got out and then two cops walked in the bathroom as I was walking out. I hope those cops weren't too late to get a blow job. Crap foot change. Respect to the gas station for that side hustle. Some people need to eat more fiber. It adds torque, horsepower, and sigh edit, torque is for pumped poops. Horsepower is for drill poops. Edit, got to poop fast. Edit, breathing and fills the stomach and builds sigh, probably by pressing down on the anal cavity which in turn potato guns poop into toilet. Got to get Neptune to eat my whole ass again. I'm in bed and quietly trying to moan to see if it feels similar to pushing out a turd really hard. Report, they feel like different muscle groups. Report, just pissed while moaning intermittently. In the beginning, it made no difference but towards the end, more pee came out while I was moaning. I can understand you cannot control the noises coming out of your butthole but why in God's name would you add to the soundtrack by grunting? Ahaha, ah, ah, just revving the engine ahaha. Ah, ah. Turning sideways increases torque. 
Instructions unclear, I just pooped in the sink. No noticeable difference in torque. You torque the torque, but do you walk the walk? Let me answer your question with another question, ever see your turd and think huh, I guess a dick that big could go in my ass. So it doesn't just grow when it hits the water like those little foam dinosaurs? You might be eating too much baking soda. This made me laugh so hard. Thank you laughing my butt off. I worry it won't go down the toilet. Like I think, damn they need to make toilet holes bigger. I've often thought, wow. Kudos, toilet engineers. Didn't think that was going to make it down. I often tell the toilet, now, I'm going to open my fly. And you going to swallow what I give you to swallow. This guy F's. His toilet. All the time. I once had to pass one that literally stood upright in the hole and couldn't be cantilevered to get flushed. Took several tries. I stood in awe waiting for the tank to refill, a poop knife wasn't there yet, and that idea indeed crossed my mind. Going out and going in are different I promise. I pretty much don't consider myself a virgin anymore. I have a theory that about 75%, of the male population will refuse to crap in a public stall unless they're literally exploding with diarrhea. So this creates an environment where a large percentage of people you encounter in a public restroom are going through it edit, damn, can't read all the comments but to the women questioning why men won't crap in public bathrooms, there is a substantial difference in cleanliness and hygiene between a woman's bathroom and a man's lol. Walk into a men's bathroom at an MLB baseball game and walking into a stall is like walking into hell itself. Edit 2, okay. Women's bathrooms are dirty too. Sorry, never been in one. This. I only go to public toilets if it's really really bad. At that point, I might not even know that I make any sounds. It's like being in some kind of crap delirium by the time I get to the toilet. The kind that makes your brow covered in a cold dew of sweat, your eyes roll back, and your teeth clenched. At that point, you're not thinking of other people around you. You're thinking about how you would rather be at home sounding these burning sirens of hell than partaking in the experience in a place where others might linger in the aftereffects of your heretical crapping bonanza. What I do is moan, scream, and bang on the cubicle door next to me. You can choose to become one with the demons of your bellowing bowels, if it helps, though this may be at the extent of your own dignity. Imagine any passers-by staying to listen to your liberal crap show, taking in your scatological suffering. When you walk out of that stall, who's going to look you in the eye? Your dad? Your cousin? Or perhaps your neighbor? Be the suffering you echo, if you desire, but keep in mind what you are sacrificing when entering this fecal frenzy. It may not be entirely worth it. You walk out of that stall with your head held high, for having been brave enough, or desperate enough, to have exorcised those gut demons in public discourse. You are a survivor. You won. I think I like this approach better. You can choose to shamefully shun yourself for your crafty shenanigans or you can pride yourself in the absolutely indubitable impressiveness of your inner incantation. I like to go live on Instagram while taking that colossal crap, too knacky for you. I'd rather not expose my enema endeavors with the whole wide world, though if your friends and followers adore your anal amalgamations then there is little for me to judge. This guy alliterates. Why hello there Edgar Allan Poe. When I started a job I hated with great bathrooms this all changed. I take the longest most luxurious craps at work now. And that in turn has made me way more comfortable in most public bathrooms. Before that yeah I never crap in public. I don't get that. I always crap at work in public restrooms. Don't crap for free. My job is outside mostly, and I do work all around the city. I have this app called the poop map that you drop a poop pin whenever you take a poop somewhere new. It's my favorite thing to pull out my phone and show people all of the places I've pooped. That's maybe a third date conversation, I think. Third date is sex date territory. Therefore, poop map is second date, because you need to know if they are poop map cool before you sleep with them. You don't cover bowel movements on the first date. Imagine what marketers are going to do harvesting your poop data lad. 
This guy craps nine times a day let's market hydrating sports drinks. Same, it's my only quiet and undisturbed time at work. I tell my number one that I'll be turning my radio off for a few and to try to handle it herself. He makes a dollar, I make a dime, that's why I crap on company time. Crap rich. In my 12 years of being in school, I can count on two hands how many times I used a restroom. Not even kidding. My throne is at home. I'm not sure that I ever pooped at school grades K-12. I could count the amount of times I took a crepe at school with one hand. I had this fear that some kids would come and open the stall or stand on the next stall's toilet and look in. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.